Welcome to the Transform Your Life podcast. I'm your host, Cass Henry. I'm on a mission to help women live their best and happiest life. In order to do that, I believe we need to live with a lot less clutter in our homes and in our minds. So if this is you and you're looking to learn the best tips for transforming all areas of your life, then you have come to the right place. Thanks so much for being here. Now, let's get started. Hey, my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the podcast. I'm Cass Henry, your professional home organizer, but I do so much more than that. I helped you declutter and organize all areas of your life. And today I wanted to talk to you quickly about the process of how I help my clients declutter and organize their homes. So right off the bat, when people message me, oftentimes the subject line is help. I'm, I'm overwhelmed and I don't know where to start. And that's one of my favorite things to do is helping people know where to start, how to start, where to go next, and all of the things. So I'm just increasing the brightness on my computer. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll see that. Um, so that's one of my most favorite things is helping people discover where to start. So right off the bat, whenever a new client, if you're a new client of mine, you already know this, but if you're looking to become a client of mine, the first thing that you'll do is you will send me some photos of the areas of your home that you would like my help with. From there, I will give you a rough estimate, but really we don't know how long it will take until we start right away. So as soon as we book a session, I will be sending sending you a link once I get your photos and we have um, a brief conversation. And as soon as I meet you, of course, I'm going to introduce myself, but then we dive right in. So I go through a tour of your home with you. We go through all of the areas that you touched on. And I might also ask to see a couple other areas of the home, even if you don't want to work in them, because sometimes we need to tug and pull from different areas in order to do one area. So let's say you want to do the kitchen, but your kitchen is bursting at the seams and you aren't ready to get rid of as much as you might need to, then I need to see where else I can store certain items in order to create extra space. So for a client of mine, in order to create extra space in her kitchen, I actually renovated her front hall closet and turned that into a pantry. And yes, I did it all on my own because I know how to use power tools. Uh, I, taught, I taught myself and um, I was taught by some other people along the way, which I was super grateful for. So I do a tour of the space with you. And then right off the bat, I'll ask you if you have a specific area that you would want to start in first, if there's any area that's causing you the most overwhelm or stress or anxiety. And if you don't know what that place might be, then I will choose for you. So whether it be your bedroom, whether it be your front hall closet, maybe it's a bathroom, maybe it's a linen closet, one area that we could get a really quick win. So wherever it may be, we will just begin. And the strategy in each area is very simple. It's the same. A lot of my clients are short on time. So I don't always get the full session with my client, which I have to account for. I always say, how much time do I have you for? Maybe it's an hour, maybe it's 30 minutes, maybe it's three hours. And so with that amount of time, we maximize that time together. So if I only get you for a short amount of time, we aren't decluttering and then organizing that area right away. We're going to declutter, move on to the next, declutter, move on to the next. And that means there's going to be a ton of piles of clutter and garbage and stuff all around your house. But don't worry, I'm not leaving until the job is done. And I will not start a new area unless I'm confident and knowing that we'll have enough time to at least clean it all up at the end of the day. Because that's exactly what people do. They'll pull out all the things from their closet They'll sift through it, realize, okay, I don't want this. This is garbage. This is staying, whatever it may be. And then they have to go pick up their kids from school. And then it's like, oh, crap, where am I going to put all this? So they shove it back in the closet. They close the closet door, close the bedroom door. And then they attempt it again for maybe a second, third, fourth, fifth time every month until they finally give me a call or maybe they have a friend or finally they're like, okay, I have to take the day off. No social media, no socializing, no kid pickup. I got to finish this. So that's one of people's, that's that's 
something that people struggle with the most is actually doing everything from start to finish because decluttering that's not doing it start to finish decluttering and then organizing is not start to finish you still have to sometimes go out and buy supplies and then implement the supplies and then you have to drop off the donations and take out the garbage and sell the items if that's what you choose to do so there's so many steps that go into actually decluttering and organizing any space and that's what I love to do I help clients see everything through from A to Z. I haul away the donations for free. I sell items for you that you no longer want, but you want to sell. I don't take away garbage, but I'll bring it into your garage. And if there's more garbage than what can fit in your garage, then I will call the junk company and set up an appointment for you. I take care of everything for you so that you don't have to, you don't have to guess. You don't have to feel overwhelmed about what to do first, what to do next. I will guide you through the whole thing. And that's why typically my clients will hire me to do their entire house and then come back through year after year to maintain it because I take the guesswork and the overwhelm out of it for you. So that's a bit about what I do in clients' homes. Uh, Right off the bat, you send me photos, we do the home tour, then we get started in, in every area. I go through the process with you. Um, All you have to do is say yes or no to each item. Do you want to keep this? Yes or no. Keep trash. Keep trash. And then we set the piles to the side and you can either go on about whatever you want to do, whether you're going to go to work, go to yoga, take a nap. Honestly, my clients have done it all. Um, Maybe you even have a therapy session during our session. Whatever it may be, you can go off, do whatever you need to do. Some clients aren't even there when I'm doing it. So what I'll do is I'll organize everything. I'll send them pictures, maybe if I have to, or I'll give them homework. Hey, can you sort through these couple of things that I left on the counter? These are some things that I feel like might be garbage. Um, I won't throw anything out that you don't give me the permission to do. I won't donate anything that you don't give me the permission to donate. I need your consent for everything. And then from there, I take it from there. So if you've been struggling with decluttering and organizing your home and you don't know where to start, the first place to start is just to send me a message. Even if you're living further away and you're not in Ottawa or in the surrounding area and I can't come to your home to do it for you, maybe, just maybe, you can join my Clutter to Calm program that is launching in May of 2024. And we are doing four months of live Zoom calls together. So it's going to be a very small group. We're going to hop on the call for two hours every week, whatever time frame works best for people. You're going to prop up your phone or your computer in the room, and I'm going to tell you where to start and where to go next. It's going to be focused, um, and then you're going to have prompts to do very specific activities to do in between our calls because I don't want you to have to take off vacation days and spend your summers, weekends, and evenings decluttering. You don't have to spend all that amount of time doing it. If you have someone guiding you to do it, then you're going to get there so much faster. On top of that, in this program, we're not just touching base on your physical clutter because clutter exists everywhere. Clutter exists in your bad habits. Clutter exists in your schedule and in your time and in in the way that you treat your body, whether you exercise or, you know, everyone eats. So even I'm having a specialist come on and talk to you about meal planning, meal prepping, and I'm having someone to talk to you about how to manage your finances and how to create a budget if that's what you want or how to knock off your debt or help your kids save for money. I'm going to teach you on how to help your family get on board to get organized and how to teach your kids to declutter and organize and how to convince your husband to get rid of all those ripped t-shirts he's been holding on to for 40 years. Whatever it may be, whatever your questions that you have, I will answer them in this program. So like I said, it's starting in May. It's called Clutter to Calm because that's exactly what you're going to get. And if you're interested, then just send me a message, but there will be more information on it coming up soon but there's only going to be I think maximum 15 spots maybe 10 just because during those live calls I really want to give people the time the energy and the attention that they need and deserve so that they can get the results that they're looking for on the calls so yeah if you have any questions about anything around clutter and disorganization and how to organize your home and in your life please send me a message If you are watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification to get updated on all my future videos and leave a comment if you 
you know, like this video. And if you're listening to it on the podcast, then please consider leaving a five-star review if you find the podcast helpful and hit subscribe so that other people who are feeling disorganized and overwhelmed and all of the things can find these episodes. So I'm sending you so much love and gratitude, my friend. And if you hang out on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, come find me at Transform Spaces. Okay, chat soon. Bye.